everybody, Matt from Classic Firearms, and today I have a table full of Mosins for you guys. So, you know, it's that time of year, folks, you know, new things coming in and old things going out, and it's time that we did a clear out of our remaining Mosin inventory. Now, folks, these are all different things that we've had kind of recently. We've had some dribs and drabs of things left over, and what we'd like to do is give you all a great option to buy these rifles at kind of clearance prices, get them out of the warehouse, make room for the things that are coming in the new year. And we definitely think that it's going to be an exciting time for those of you who are out there who are looking to add a Mosin into their collection for the first time or expand that Mosin collection if you're looking for something that you'd already have. You know, a lot of people out there, it's kind of like Pokemon. you got to collect them all. you got to have the Tula, the Round, the Hex, everything, right? So, folks, what we have is we're going to have four different SKUs. And so as I talk about each one, plan is we're going to put the SKU on the screen so that you'll have exactly the, the terms to search on ClassicFirearms.com if you're looking for that item. So folks, let's start down here to my right. What we have here is the Mosin Gantz uh, 9130. Uh, we have it listed as surplus various conditions, and there's gonna be a lot of custom options on there. Uh, both of the rifles that we have here are just kind of two representative ones, and I would say they represent kind of our base condition, which is a good condition or grade two style rifle. Um, on this rifle, you can see there is some pitting here on the receiver, but the bolt itself doesn't really appear to have any pitting on it at all. Um, you know, overall, the rifle looks in good shape. There's some bluing wear here around the pitting, but other than that, the uh, bluing on the rifle looks really well. This particular rifle is a round Tula, um, and there will be custom options for you know what kind of receiver, what manufacturer, and some of the more exotic things uh, like laminated stocks or Dragoon rifles. We're going to pick up the other example. You can see that there's a bit more pitting here on the uh, the bolt and kind of not deep but just kind of like speckled pitting here on the receiver. Uh, again in both cases it's not going to affect the function at all. Uh, the pitting isn't something that's deep enough in the metal to worry about uh, you know making an unsafe firearm but since it's there you know that's why we have it at that kind of good condition. Uh, you'll also have higher conditions like very good as well as some lower conditions like fair um, which again you can just expect you know more or less cosmetic issues uh, respectively. So we're going to put the, the skew for this item on the screen. So if you're looking to pick up one of these rifles, now these rifles do come with the bayonets, but no other accessories, folks. So if you're looking for a rifle, a bayonet, again, good way to uh, you know add to your collection, that would be the skew that's on the screen right now. All right, moving on, folks. Now we have these rifles that came to us pre-boxed. Now, I'm kind of worried that it might not look as good on camera as it does in person because the Cosmoline on this picks up all of our light and you can see like every fingerprint on the stock. Trust me when I say that in person, you know, these rifles are actually in really nice shape, um, partially because they are coated in Cosmoline. Now these rifles were brought to us as part of a group imported out of the Ukraine. So they were sent from Russia to the Ukraine and so there are a few things to keep in mind. If you uh, remember Ben going over this before. The rear sight on this rifle has been pinned, so you might be able to see that pin here, and I'm sure that uh, Ryan will get a good shot of it so you all can see exactly what I'm talking about. This prevents the rear sight from moving any further up than about 300, I guess, meters, actually, uh, arshins, and, uh, you know, that was part of their conversion to make it a, a civilian legal firearm. Also, you'll see it is marked here on the magazine. Uh, I have no idea what that says, but all these rifles out of this Ukrainian group have that. Other than that, stock original Russian 9130 and again you know the conditions on these vary but are all basically in the good to very good uh, area. I don't believe that we have any custom options for condition on these rifles because they were all in a fairly narrow condition range but just to let you know you know they're always always going to be the best and the worst but again they're all kind of in that good to very good condition range. Also with these rifles we want to point out that these pre-box rifles from the Ukraine Come with accessories. So you can see here packaged with it, we have slings, like toolkits, pouches, and a little manual that are going to be included with each of these rifles that come came to us pre-boxed. So taking a look at one more example here on the table, and you can see again, you know, the stock's in really good condition, only minor little dings and everything. The the bluing looks very good, no wear on it all that much. Oh, there was one more marking. You probably saw it when I showed you the magazine, but here on the side of the rear sight, there's also another marking. Again, all indicative of the fact that this is part of that group 
that came to us out of the Ukraine, converted for civilian use before being imported here to the States. So again, they'll put the SKU up here on the screen. It's probably been here already, but this is the uh, terms you're gonna search for if you're interested in getting one of these boxes that come with the accessories out of the Ukraine. Moving on to our next group of rifles. These rifles are what we would consider to be in fair condition or have cracked stocks. And when I say cracked stock, I don't mean a small split in the, uh, you know, the handguard. Unfortunately, you know, some of these rifles are in much better shape as far as the receiver, the action, the barrel, but they'll have significant cracking in the stock. You can see here around the back end of the receiver, a very significant. Now, if you're someone who's good with working with wood, that may be something you can repair, but I think for a lot of us, this would kind of be something that you'd need to replace the stock. Um, now, the rifles it will either have that kind of cracking, or you know we also have some rifles that might have a much smaller crack, um, but they're just going to be in a little bit worse shape. Again, we're offering them as fair condition. Uh, you can see here fairly significant pitting here on the cocking piece of the bolt, as well as the bolt handle itself. The receiver not too bad, a little bit of light pitting there, and the stock itself is in pretty worn condition. But again, all in all, something that we definitely think could be either fired as is or at least prepared to fire relatively easily. Um, you know, either replacing the stock to make that safe or in this case, maybe just replacing that, that cocking piece. But you'll be able to see the, the price and place an order for these rifles if you follow the SKU that comes up on the page now. And folks, that brings us to kind of the bottom of the barrel. And I don't mean that just figuratively, like literally kind of scraping the bottom of the crates these things came in. We have what can only be generously described as project guns. So uh, these rifles are what we would consider to be in poor condition. They've all had extensive exposure to moisture. You can see heavily rusted throughout all of the metal. Stocks are generally going to be very worn as well. Uh, this may not function as is and may require replacement parts. Effectively, we're selling this only as a gunsmith special project gun. And it's very important to understand that there are no returns on these rifles, folks. You are buying it as is because you either want to practice your restoration techniques or have a fun project you can do and pass something down to the kids. But these rifles are rough. I just don't want to understate that for you. Um, I'm sure that when they get to the close-up hands, you will be able to see in amazing detail because Ryan is an amazing cameraman and we have an amazing camera. The, the rough shape of these rifles, you know. So again, uh, all sales on these rifles will be final. We're doing our very best to make sure you are fully aware of the condition of these rifles. But folks, because of the condition and the fact that we understand that you're buying these as project guns, they will be at a very low price, something that you, know, you couldn't buy a Mosin for for years now. Uh, and so we definitely think that if you're the type of person who, you know, in, likes to do your own home projects, someone who does DIY, someone who's interested in getting into gunsmithing or maybe practicing refinishing techniques before you go and try to work on granddad's old World War II rifle, this should be a great place to start. It's going to be an inexpensive way to get a rifle that you can then take home and try out some of those techniques. Again, maybe build memories with the kids where you and them work on restoring it together. And so that's still going to be kind of an interesting project, a fantastic way to get into that collectible arms market. Or maybe you're looking to bub it. You know, I mean, you could always get a Tapco stock, strip the, the action out, you know, and, and refinish it with your favorite Cerakote and, and decide to go that route. We don't judge you. Obviously, we love our classic firearms, our collectible historic firearms, but that would be a great way to get into a rifle where you're not worried about, you know, keeping that historic aspect as well because the original is so worn. Folks, speaking of historical firearms, remember we are still giving away this BAR, Browning Automatic Rifle. It's just an amazing opportunity for one person to walk away with a piece of history that you can go out to the range and, and have fun with. And you know, just every time you fire it, think freedom, 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 freedom. So 20 round magazine, 30 out six, semi-automatic only on obviously this model. But guys, I mean, I don't think any one of us has not imagined at some point when we were kids or something about, you know, being that support gunner, the guy who's like, you know, go, go, go. Da, 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 da. So this is your chance to live out that dream at least a little bit by signing up for the contest and winning that BAR. Remember, the absolute best way to sign up for the contest 
is by subscribing to our email list because not only does that subscribe you to the contest, uh, sorry, enter you into the contest, but that subscription means you're gonna get all of our emails, all the special pricing, all the, the deals and things that we have coming out that we just, you know, we can't put an in, in individual email out and our site is so massive, it can be hard to find them on your own. So this will get that information directly to you into your hands every day so you'll know what's going on. And while you're signing up for things, don't forget, you can subscribe to our email, sorry, to our YouTube channel by clicking on the, the logo that they'll have over here. That way you get all of our videos Ben Clinton and I put out. We always appreciate you coming down, guys. Hopefully you pick up one of these great Mosin rifles in one of the various options. And again, we appreciate your business. God bless.